This is a song that I wrote in my Portuguese class this year, and this class was focused on environmental issues in Brazil, and so the song is about biopiracy, or um, the phenomenon of these giant pharmaceutical companies usually coming into the Amazon and putting patents on all kinds of medicinal plants, and so especially this harms indigenous people who use these plants and it really limits what they can do commercially with the plants. And so um, the song is called Doença de Patentes, or Patent Sickness. So here's the song. <laughs> Salva mulheres no meio de um difícil parto, mas agora onde está? No meio de um creme não essencial, um caro chocolate no meio do Japão. Você tem visto a Andy rouba, já que domina a febre e a depressão. É repelente de insetos, mas de científicos não. Piratas não tradicionais, em lugar de espadas, doem com documentos legais. Patentes sobre o que cresce, patentes sobre o que já sabemos usar algum dia. Vai ter patentes sobre o mesmo ar E se ninguém protestar Alguma companhia vai decidir quem pode e quem não pode respirar Você já ouviu da Copaíba a Vori, O puro poder dela, o pesquisador não perde o óleo dela Cura qualquer doença da pele Adição, espetorante, desinfetante, estimulante Mas agora fica nos perfumes para dar olor Fica nas tintas de cabelo para dar alguma cor Patentes sobre o que cresce Patentes sobre o que já sabemos usar algum dia Vai ter patentes sobre o mesmo ar E se ninguém protestar Alguma companhia vai decidir quem pode e quem não pode respirar Você já viu algum sapo verde Pois se você vê-lo, diga para ele Se esconder numa perto árvore As piratas vêm de novo e o veneno querem coletar Analgésico e antibiótico Mas defende esta floresta se você quer terra para respirar Tem alguma planta? Que pode curar esta doença de patentes Alguma planta que pode curar esta doença de patentes uh, 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 uh. Se você quer ter algo para todos para todos respirar Se você quer ter ar Para todos Para todos respirar This is called Head in the Clouds My soul salvation bound I got my eyes on the prize 
Yeah, I can see another country Where there's another kind of life And there's another kind of sound So many people are troubled in mind They're all mixed up but they swear they're fine They can't see beyond the here and the now They're killing themselves but they don't know how I got my head in the clouds I got my mind set on freedom I got a reason to believe my soul salvation bound I got my eyes on the prize Yeah, I can see another country Where there's another kind of life And God knows there's another kind of sound I can't find no doctor who can ease the pain They take their pills till they feel the same There ain't no relief from the status quo They're dying inside but they just don't know I got my head in the clouds Hey now Take a little walk with me. We're going up the mountain to a place called eternity. It's a narrow path. You gotta watch your step. But when you get to the end of that road, you will find happiness. Yes, yes, yes. I hope something more than just a state of mind Man, it's real, it's real And you can feel it inside You've got to let your little light shine You show me your light I'll show you mine I got my head in the clouds I got my mind set on freedom, freedom, oh yeah, freedom. Thank you. We have a little uh, piece that I've named uh, Haiku Blues about our contemporary life. <laughs> Spring rains, crops dying on flooded land, silent wonder waiting. California strawberries, beautiful, red, ripe, radioactive. Wind swirling, Japan's cherry blossoms, radiated tears. Tornadoes lift buildings. Change lives in seconds, nature's power. NASA astronauts know Earth's fragile beauty, offer sky prayers. Women sing planting corn, bless polluted water, generate faith.
This is a poem about poetry, and um, for me it's a real highlight once a month to come here and listen to the poetry. And so I just thought I'd take out a poem. It's an old poem, but um, it just uh, kind of talks about poetry. It's called Word Jumble. My 20-minute lunch break is spent doing the daily word jumble. The Zen of the jumble, I call it, my meditation. The words, they already exist. That is, the words begin the jumble, then someone scrambles the letters up. For me, the Zen of the jumble is to unscramble the letters without straining or fussing or working too hard. Remembering that the word exists and my mind just has to access them. Juggling various phonetic sounds, I ask my brain to figure it out. Sometimes words, they come out like lightning bolts. Other times more like a slow rumble of aha. Sometimes the words are stuck and they do not appear at all. But sometimes later when I look at them again, they are ready to unravel. It's a quick take on my mental state of being, giving me an idea of how my mind is working for the afternoon to come. And lately, when I am writing poetry, I think about the jumble. And I realize that somewhere, somehow, the poem exists in its entirety. And I just have to find it. Assemble the pieces and parts to make it whole. Not too much straining or fussing. Let the poem appear. Be guided by the poetry muse, who guides the lost words to their proper places. Sometimes the words do not come at all, and the poem appears stuck. But later, I look at it again, and the words seem to know where to go. Writing poetry this way is a shared experience with the universe. And allowing, letting go to let it flow is a challenge, experiencing the Zen of poetry. Um, when Cheryl quoted Danielle's words uh, somewhere in the internet there uh, to stir you up a bit, shift something in you, and force you to come alive again, I knew that's why I've been coming all the time. It's what um, you do for me. And so I said, yeah, I got to do that for others. Well, this is just trying. Um, at this point, it's what I brought to, to read to you. And it's, I wish it would be a blues song. In dreams, I'm always disguised. I'm helpless. Miss the last train. I fail to understand cryptic telephone instructions. If I weren't afraid to fall bone by bone into the uncovered abyss, here's what I'd like to say. Break the trance, glimpse the debris, then throw the lights away. This was Wallace Stevens, and I, I stole some things, so that's it. I have two poems today, and uh, the first um, is the first poem I read at uh, HCAM. So, uh, and the second is one of the last poems that I've written and will conclude our season. Uh, the first is called 26 Silk Blouses. 26 silk blouses, each hung up neatly encased in its own clear plastic protector. 26 buttery soft silk blouses lined up like soldiers, waiting, waiting for her. Some still with their store tags attached, most meticulously cleaned and put away for next time. Some with brass buttons, some with silk, some with mother of pearl. Some with collars, some with bows, some a simple shell, but all waiting, waiting for her waiting for parties, waiting for lunches, waiting for theater and visits with grandchildren, and even for going to work. 26 silk blouses carefully chosen, shopping with friends, shopping alone. 26 buttery soft blouses for caressing her skin, comforting her soul, making an effort, putting on a show, best foot forward, soldiers on the go. Now they lay quiet, shrouded in stillness, amongst heavy thick air, 
In comes her daughter and slowly goes through them, touching their softness, smelling their lingering scent of times that are gone. Twenty-six blouses shudder imperceptibly as their waiting is done. I wrote that uh, about eight years ago for my mother, and I read it at HCAM when it was at the um, coffee shop. And uh, I'd like to conclude with Hanani, which is Hebrew for here I am, and it is a biblical reference to Ab Adam, Abraham, and Moses when they answered God's question, where were they? So here I am. When the stone frog plays its watery song, when the eager daffodil trumpets the day, when the forsythia splays its joy in vibrant disarray, Hanani. When the evening air sways gently the trees, when the morning glories in their beds lay, when the setting sun throws shadows long on paths of sepia clay, Hanani. When the nightingale cries for its mate, when the moon blanched sky has its sway, when your breathless name echoes with the breeze, as you search for me, I search too. Hanani, Hanani, come what may. Thank you, Cheryl. Have you ever felt that kind of a tinge of regret at the end of a project or a work cycle? A man can value work as measured by his wealth and take his share from others to benefit himself his life played like a game of zero sum I worked to share the joy as the sail climbed up the mast while I pulled the sheet with those who bound their passion to the task. That's why sailors long for sea when work is done. That's one more sail around the sun. One more race that has been run. One more string to come unstrung when work is done. I recall those days we bounced our little babies on our knees. How could we be so blessed to share that work of family? Each day as if our lives had just begun. Time to us was kind, it turned our winters into springs. One by one our children felt the wind beneath their wings. Now we're looking back at work well done And one more sail around the sun One more race that has been run One more string to come unstrung When work is done And could it be life is a ship out on the sea? Love came aboard when you chose to sail with me. What could be the meaning of the turning of a year? 
the end of a beginning, the end of a career, a casualty of age to overcome, or the launch of an adventure, an old boat set to sea. Risk one more together to sail this earth with me. Join our strength for work that's just begun. For one more sail around the sun. And one more race that we can run. One more string that can be strung till work. to dedicate this to uh, everyone who's dealt with those tornadoes and going through any kind of a personal crisis. It's gonna be all right Don't get taken from the light Someone may block your sight, but never give up the fight. There's good in you, and there's good in me. Sometimes it's hard to see, but don't you give up on me. Oh, it's gonna be all right. Don't get taken from the light. Something may block your sight. But never give up the fight I may lift you up I may let you down I may let you fall And help you pick yourself up off the ground But it's gonna be alright Don't get taken from the light Someone may block your sight But never give up the fight there are so many things we just don't understand about love, loss, and pain, and then happiness in the end, and then happiness in the end, and then happiness in the end. But it's gonna be all right. Don't get taken from the light. Someone may block your sight. But never give up the fight Oh, it's gonna be all right Don't get taken from the light Something may block your sight But never give up the fight Don't ever 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 give up the fight Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out today. And thank you again, Cheryl. Good morning. Uh, the poem that I'm uh, about to read this morning actually uh, came to me while I was sitting in a parking lot waiting uh, for a friend to pick me up to go to a play. And the name of the poem is Waiting. What is the hurry? Do you have a date? No need to worry, just sit and wait. The waiting is the hardest. Do you know what you're waiting for? In your mind, what speaks the loudest? To open or close the door. The door to understanding is worth its weight in gold, while waiting is demanding you to be in control. Whether waiting is the thing to do or make the time be now, 
When will the answer be in you? Then what to do and how? To know the time is right, not to wait too long. It may be out of sight, still waiting for a song that sets the time in motion to let the waiting pass. Not just to have the notion, the time has come at last. To bring it from the thought, moving into action, the lesson has been taught, connect to the attraction. Your thoughts have made it real. Be willing to receive the universal deal those thoughts did conceive. Much of life is waiting. What are you waiting for? Do not be hesitating. Let your thoughts be pure. To bring into life the joy of having all. To take away the strife of hearing the call. To attain from the waiting peace within your being. No more hesitating. Now seeing is believing. Thank you. And pear, apricot, and pear.